Welcome, welcome everyone to day number, I think, 22 or 23. Are we on 30 yet? Anyway, um, for today's video, we are going to see the pattern matching. So if you come from a Java background, you may know this as switch case statements. In this case, these are called match case statements. So there's a whole explanation here on how to use this, and you can use this with expressions, literal values, data types, and regular expressions. So let's do one of each. So literal types, let me take this whole thing and put it here. What does this mean? This means that it literally matches literal types. Ha ha ha. Okay, so I have this and I do my input dot string. Where's my input? Oh, here. So my input is an object and then has a field called string and it contains Emiliano. So if I do my input dot string, it will say Emiliano and then I want to match instead of doing like if this, then this, else this, blah, blah, blah. Um, I can just do match, so I put the value that I want to compare or that I want to check. Let me just do this. As you can see, this is Emiliano. So I want to match Emiliano, so I open my curly brackets and then I say case Emiliano, then I want this to be true. Case Mariano, I want this to be false. Or I can also say this. I don't know how to write. This is Emiliano. Or I can say here, this is Mariano. And in this case, this is going to be Emiliano. So if I change this from Emiliano to Mariano, this is going to be this is Mariano. Magic. So there is another example here. And we say case string Emiliano. Because if instead of just like copy and pasting, for example, here I have Emiliano here, Emiliano here, and Mariano here, and Mariano here. Instead of doing that, let me get rid of this and show you how to do that. Basically the same. So I can now say this is, and then for example, the do a plus plus string, and the same thing over here so in this case if i change this again to mariano now they they still work the same as you can see but the difference is that in the first one i have to manually write this and on the second one i have a variable called str and i can change this to whatever i want i can put e here i can put m here and this is a variable that i'm going to be using so i'm saying case e so this just like creates a variable and then if this is equal to emiliano then do whatever i want this and if if this is mariano then do whatever i want here now what would happen if it wasn't either emiliano or mariano well you can also use an else statement and say no one for example i'm gonna put this here as well and now i receive no one so that is in case this is a literal value like this case was now let's see how it works with expressions all right so now i'm saying my input dot string so we're still evaluating emiliano and we want to match case str we create another variable and then we say if str equals mariano then do this if str equals emiliano then do this which is basically the same that what we just did this is a literal um expression but we are we are making it longer <laughs> basically um, in the other one, we could just like go directly, just put case Emiliano, case Mariano, and that would work. In this case, we, we want to use if, if something, then do this other thing. 
Um, ideally, you wouldn't use this for this literal case because you can use the other one. But what if it was something like this, for example? So you want to evaluate the number. Here you have 3.14. And then you want to say case num. So you create another variable and then you say if num equals equals 3, then you say equals. If num is more than 3, then you say greater than. If num is less than 3, then you say less than. So here in our case, we have greater than. If we put 2, we will receive less than. So that is how you can use if else statements or well if statements inside the match case and now we go to data type so if we wanted to match something depending on their data type instead of doing the whole if thing we can also do case is and then the type that we want in this case we're matching my input.a which is emiliano this is a string so it goes to this string string and we will explain the difference between type of and an actual string so when you use for example type of to get the type of something it returns a type type <laughs> it doesn't return a string so this is why this is not a string this is an actual type and then the same for here in the my input.b, this is a number, so we are matching to this. And then instead of just returning number, like in this case, this example is creating a whole object. So it creates an object, and then this is says type, and then number, and then the variable that we are using, which is y in this case. So this is what the second one is returning. Again, you can just change this if you wanted to just return number and not this whole object. You can do that as well and it will work. So that is the data type matching. And finally, if you wanted to match regular expressions with match case, you can do this. Um, oh, this is so big. Okay. So you go into my input.phones, which is an array of strings. And then you say, well, you start with a map because you want to match every single item inside this array. And then you say match and then case phone matches. And then you have a, a whole expression here. I want to go through it. But if it matches this expression, it's going to do this country phone and if it matches this expression it's going to output this another this other object with area phone and number and then phone again and the same for this one so the output ends up being country one in the first in the first phone and then on the second phone we get area and then number in different objects and then on the second one, we get country area number and area and number. Again, depending on the rejects that we are using, these are different, I think. Anyway, that is how you can use rejects with the pattern matching as well. And that is all. All right, so thank you so much for watching. Remember, you can use this pattern matching function instead of just doing like if this, then this, else this, else this, blah, blah, blah. You can just do pattern matching. And I believe it's also more performant than the if else, if I remember correctly. But that is it for this video. Let me know in the comments below what you want me to do next. Uh, follow me on socials at Double X Martinez and subscribe right here to continue watching my videos. Bye!